Learning of this Malochim Beregal of Alok Yid Alok. Shemarishim Malachabe is David. When you anoint the kings from the household of David. So the Pio says, A Marishim Oisim El Alamayim. They are only anointed next to the spring. This is a simon, this is a loose uh, a symbol that their kingdom will continue like just the fresh water springs. But by Malachi Yisrael, we don't find that they were anointed uh, on the springs. The Gaza Mishnah cites Horius and Yerushalmi. One does not anoint kings only on the spring, so that their kingdom shall be continued. And even though it doesn't say Malchim Beis David, it says any kings, I'm the opinion is talking about Malchim Beis David, because only Malchim Beis David that stands forever need to have a sign that it should continue, like in Allah Hattes. And just like the waters of the spring continue, so we continue their kingdom. The Yefeim Mare adds that also Shem and is a, is a hint at the uh, existence of the kingdom forever. He explains uh, they did not require the anoint, anointing of a Kohen Godel at a spring because Kuhuno will not stop. When my king, it could, it could be it will stop for a certain amount of time and uh, therefore he was he would be anointed at a spring to show that it, they, it would continue. Now Bahamanel cites that our rabbis have uh, accepted that the anointing of Kemalchei's based Dovid has to be only a shalim on a well, a spring, and the kingdoms of Israel were not in Yerushalayim, and neither were they on a spring. And only anointed when there was a disagreement. And the question is, where do we know this? Furthermore, from the Tesefta, it would seem that even the anointing of regular kings of Israel was at a spring. What Ram learns, that he has to do based on it, only in Yerushalayim, from what it says by Shloyma, in Melochim 1, Chapter 133, <coughs> and you'll take him down to the Gichon. They do it in the Mayan. <coughs> That's the order of all the kings of Beis David. So the question is, David himself, they didn't do it in the spring, only in Beis Lechem. And also shown it wasn't done at a well, even though that the intent of Shmuel was that he should be king forever. And further, the Feimara questions that it should continue means that the son children should inherit it. But that he himself should uh, have long life on his kingdom. Incidentally, he brings the Abarmanel, who adds that you do not anoint Kriyanim on the well, because it's only a simon that the, it should continue for the children. And by Kahanim, you don't need a sign, because Kuhuno is not pushed off to others, it's always a Kahanim who have it. If they turn out, it says regarding the Medrash in the Yikra Rabbo, it attempts to explain that it's not a proof where it doesn't say in the Posik that though it was anointed on the well, that it could be that he was not, it was at the spring. The Har Maria explains that they didn't do Yehu on the spring. As it says, Elisha sent the Sion of Amitai, one of the sons of the Nevi'im, to anoint him as king. And they put him into a room, and not, not because uh, they were fearful of the ki uh, king Yoro. According to the Rambam, could be, you can answer Sheir, there was a raised of it. That's why he was not in a room, and only. The kings of David have to be done on the well. So the Amoria question is that why did Shmuel anoint Shoal by the well? And also, David doesn't seem to have been anointed at the well. So maybe by David was because of the fear of Shoal. And because he brought to Shmuel to do so, he said, I'm afraid that Shoal will hear and he will kill me. Therefore, he explained that David gave 
this halofa. It wasn't from the time of Shmonim Amelach. That it, 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 it was from the time of Shmonim Amelach that it continues to be done by all the children of David on the well. The Earl Haner questions why your Yoda queen made your Yoish, and when Atalia was uh, was a queen, with the, and anointed him with the uh, special oil. In the Azoa and not on the spring. The answer is by Yosh, it's, it's impossible. It should be on the well again because of the were fear of what Atalia would do. But in the Azoa, she was not able to do anything. Loshana woman. The Amoria, both of them point out that the Amam left out in Hilda's clay Amidosh. The best had dealing with the vessels of the Migdosh and by Malochim, but it says near Shalmi and Malchai based David are only united with a horn. David and Shlaim and Nimshuk were anointed with a Karen, therefore their kingdom is eternal. Yehu and Nimshuk were Pach, and therefore it was not eternal. And we trace this back to the Pesach, we've done before in Shmuel, Roma County. That the, what will continue to exist will be the horn, not the bottle with which Shoal was anointed. Pa Maria explains that Hana only said in the prophecy Roma County, but not that the she saw that this is a fact, but not that the horn is what causes it, but uh, the spring it says in the a commandment, and you shall take him down. To the Gichon, you have to do it by the king, by the anoint the king by the spring. But he doesn't mention the horn. But the Yushalmi says <coughs> you don't uh, anoint the kings only from a horn. Shol Yehu, that were from bottles. Therefore, their kingdom was a kingdom of the past. The Yishlema were with a horn, and therefore their kingdom was a kingdom that remains. We see that the Karen is a portion of the obligation. Of the anointing of kings, as we find Loshan in Loshan Arumim. The Hamaria continues to explain that the Mayan is a symbol that the kingdom of that king will continue, and the Karen means uh, it will continue in future generations. Since though it was already anointed with the, in the Shlomo with a Karen, therefore there was no reason anymore to have a Karen. And they, uh, this is, has no application at all to Machi Yisrael because their children did not inherit it forever. There are those who are of the opinion that Shul was anointed with the oil of Persimmon, and according to them, only for or, uh, Shem and Amish, for the special oil that Moshe Rabbeinu made, they, they use a horn. And the bottle was also, that was used by Shul, by was of Persimmon. And this is inclusive in the words of the Rambam. Only Malchus Beis Dovin, I use a no, Shevan Amishra. And the question is from what we find, according to the Rambam, Shol was anointed with Shevan Amishra, and his kingdom did not con continue because it was, used, it, it was done with a bottle. Yefei Mara explains that in Mashiach's Dovin, it says, Molei Kaunacho Shemen, fill the horn with oil, and it was that horn from which Shoal was anointed. And even though that the Shem and Amishcha was uh, placed into a, a uh, plate, Navi would pour it from the plate into the horn, and so it was done by Shlomo. If Yemar explains. That Tzadik Akoyan took the horn of oil from the, from the temp from the tent, not that it was a, a, a horn that we used to anoint him. He just filled it up from the from the oil that was in the tent, and maybe it was there for when they needed it, and they would fill it for, for into their uh, plates or trays. I have a few questions. Since when they anointed David with a horn, 
and we just show with a bottle what's the what's the reason we are uh, stringent it should be Mahabit only with a horn and Mahabi Israel with a bottle and the answer is a simon is a is a sign of something. That the anointing with a with a horn is a sign of greatness. As it says, a Yorim Kirin Mishifoy, and it shall be uplifted the horn of his chosen one. Atzmiach Kirin the David, I shall cause to sprout forth the horn of David. Kalim to him bechovit, or as the Moshe Zer as the Zer says, Kirin Oyaponov, or Kanaim Miyodi Loi. Many Pesukim have a Kirin. It's a sign of strength, as the word. He, of the, the Targum, the Aramaic transmission, translation of the word Karen is Bichon, with strength. And Ramban says, as well, he explains it that way. And doing it with a horn is something that remains. And we find in the Mishnah, Karen Kayemes. But she, with a bottle, which is an earthenware item, it's a, it's a sign that it could break, ultimately. It's also why they break it, uh, a, a dish at engagements, because it's a sign it could, uh, that it can break, whereas a glass is done by a chasen to show that it can be repaired.